Yellow just blocking in the house in my road. Gotta make it put it on. She don't like wearing clothes. Just left Concord, no Carolina. I was licking on booty in the whole lot of vagina. Eat a booze with some ice cream. She remember you. Ice cube make a change. Never like the way do. do. Sitting with the crew. I bet get some food. I see you looking like a dude. Had to make a move, make a move. All right, y'all. We got DJ Academics reacting to Boosie. Clearly violating Gabriel Union and D-Wade over his comments that he made months ago about D-Wade's daughter, Zaya Wade. Y'all watch the video. Stay tuned for my comments. Just shorty, do know that, like, yo, bro, like, many times, flex on you too crazy, but you got to realize you with the prize right now. Like, <laughs> All right, what's the problem? <laughs> Nah, nah, I nah, 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 three talk, emails to get that merch. Nah, 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 it's, it, nah, it's finna drop. I ain't gonna lie to you. Somebody said, um, um, oh, by the way, yes, rest in peace to, to, to both goats. Yeah, yo, by the way, y'all all gotta join the Discord, man. Like, yo, I come in here, I try to kick it with y'all from time to time. Um, obviously, there's like a whole, like, you know, mezzanine where, like, everybody could just ch chop it up. But if y'all niggas do want to get in here and ask some questions, y'all could get up in here. Somebody Boosie said the Boosie and D Way. Yo, yeah, did y'all see that? Wait, what? What what happened? Okay. All right, hold on. Hold on. I, I'm, I'm going to need you. So, so y'all got to play along real quick while I, I play this shit. I ain't posted on my page. So, Gabriel Union, right? Remember, you know, Boosie said whatever, like, yo, y'all niggas wildin'. Turn y'all daughter into it, whatever. Anyway, or, or y'all turn y'all son into I don't, I don't know what, what, what the situation was. Anyway, Gabriel Union just responded for the first time. This is what she said. All right? Oh, man. Listen to this. Mm. So far, so good, you know. Sorry, Boosie. <laughs> he has a, he's so preoccupied. Yeah, he is, very it's much almost so. almost like thou doth protest too much, little booze. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna look You got a lot of on your mind. Um, <laughs> Damn, she said Boosie got a lot of dick on her mind. She ain't even done it, hold on, let me keep going. I mean, it's like, like that out there. It's like Zaya and Lil Nas X live in his head. <laughs> For free, <laughs> rent free. Like, what? Like, Ain't like, this homophobic? Sure. <laughs> um, Something you want to just go ahead and tell us. <laughs> this is a safe space. <laughs> women can women can't be homophobic. Space no, that's ironic. Because you're I don't just think homophobic. Hey, but, oh, hey, hey, by the way, you know what's so interesting, too? So, okay, so, so, so let me adjust what you're saying, right? It's funny, right? And by the way, granted, maybe this is a special circumstance where Boosie was commenting on the sexuality of their kid. But you do know that people will accuse you of being homophobic and call you gay and laugh at you for being possibly gay. Isn't that the same thing that they're accusing you of? Bro, that's literally right? being a fucking hypocrite. Yo, I'll see people type me like, yo, man, I always in woman business. Yo, be like, yo, that nigga probably gay. And I'm like, Bro. yo, are you, it's, all right. it's one of those things like, okay, imagine if I was gay. So you're shaming me for being gay. It's like, imagine Boozy was gay. You're shaming Boozy for being gay, but then you're acting like he's the ignorant one about things that have to do with sexuality. Some nigga said she's being sarcastic. That's still homophobic. No, bro. Yeah, like that's still homophobic. It doesn't no. matter if it's sarcasm. She could have said anything else. Tell. No, I'm telling you. I think that's like it happens all the time, right? By the way, every every like you know I believe regular person believes that Boosie is not gay. He just had an opinion on the transformation of Gabriel Union's um, child with D-Wade. Now, granted, I'm not, Boosie's opinion don't gotta be the law. It don't gotta be the king, like, whatever, whatever. It's just his opinion. My thing is this. For example, right? Even when, when I talk about Nicki Minaj, They'll criticize me. Oh, you don't like women. Oh, you know what? You know why you don't like women? It's because blah, blah, blah. And then they'll shame you in the same breath and accuse you of being gay and act like they're the ones that actually love the gay people, but they're shaming you for being gay. You know what I mean? Bro, what, bro, don't get me started, bro. So, so women, I, women, women. I just look at that and I'm like, yo, listen. I'm not saying I'm co-signing whatever Boosie's ever said about, you know, 
their family. But bro, could we at least be honest that y'all are trying to shame him and trying to act like he's gay? So if if he, in y'all jokes and y'all shaming tactics, being gay is something that's supposed to be made fun of, do you understand why it's building the mindset in people like Boosie that he's going to say, what the fuck is wrong with you if he feels you're being gay? Niggas are stupid, bro. If being gay is a great thing, you shouldn't be able to shame me. Say, you shouldn't be like, yo, I think that nigga academics undercover. You just DL. Come out the closet, nigga. Like, you, you can't. How you gonna shame me with something that's supposed to be good? It's like, I've never seen somebody try to shame me saying, damn, act, you just love some pussy. <laughs> Because there is an inherent feeling that I can't shame you about something that I almost think is good. But if I think something is bad, I can shame you about it. You know you want to dick up your ass? Oh, so you're telling me that's bad. So pretty much you don't like gay people neither. That's the fucking game they play, bro. And then they'll be like, oh, they'll be like, oh, um, I'm not homophobic. It's just this, that, yada, yada. Like, they'll be like, it just happens on Twitter, like, so much, bro. You seen that Ronda Rousey tweet, bro? Oh, I, I see it. Hold on. Yo, so Boosie said, this said now tweet. Here it is. He says, yo, LOL. Yo, by the way, I think they, they be knowing that Boosie, like, got no filter. They be hoping Boosie say like the F word or some crazy Nigga, shit. Boosie be wild. <laughs> Boosie said, LOL, the whole world know I love women. And the whole world know your husband loved. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo, y'all think, wait, do you think D Way love? <laughs> Bruh. Bruh, if I speak, I'm in big trouble. All right, hold on, hold on. All right, hold on. All right, hold on. All right, all right. Y'all don't got to answer that question. If D Way was homosexual, if would that surprise affect you? no no well all right two things would it surprise you and would it affect how you rank him rank his basketball career <laughs> like take that nigga out my top five because he gay no i would like no nah. wait I'll wait, wait. do you do you all. still I'll put just, him yeah. over Allen iverson no i gotta put Allen iverson number one now no, i'll just play <laughs> Uh, nigga said the flash not the flash yo i think bro i think gabrielle and Dwayne are in like this poly more poly relationship where like they be fucking like never mind i can't bro if i speak i'm in big trouble okay now if you ask me i feel like boosie has a right to have his own opinion just like any human being has a right to have their own opinion also gabriel union and d wade have a right to have their own opinion and they have a right to steer and rear their children in whatever direction that they want to rear their children my only thing is this as far as being trans and everything like that and i feel like a child should be raised whatever gender they were born as and that's if you were born with a peener or vagina I feel like they should be raised as a boy or a girl based off of that until they're at least 15 years old. And then after 15, then the kid who has lived 15 years, a decade and a half, and has had all their own personal experiences, they may have been in love for the first time by that point. They would have had their first kids by that point. They would have been thinking for themselves at that point. Then the child should be supported in whatever decision they want to make. But I also feel like if a parent doesn't want to defend that decision, then that decision shouldn't be defended. Now, as far as the Zaya Wade situation, Zaya Wade is not Gabriel Union's child. And it's been known on the internet that Dwayne Wade's first baby mother was totally against this. Totally against this. And she felt like, you know, D Wade is rolling with the rush. Gabriel Union is rolling with the rush. Gabrielle Union's energy, a lot of people would say, you know, she wears the pants in the relationship. A lot of people are saying that D. Wade is living vicariously through his son slash daughter, which is technically, you know, his 
daughter now. I feel like as long as Boosie is not, as long as Boosie, he's coming from a point of no malice and genuine concern, which it seems like with me, even though, you know, he, he, he is street dude from, from, from Louisiana. So the way he breaks things down is going to sound a certain way, but I feel like his heart is in it. I feel like he genuinely cares about the well-being of the child. I feel like he got it right to say what he's going to say. You know, it ain't about the messenger all the time. It's about the intent and the message, the non-malice in the in the message, you know. Uh, Gabriel Union, she just seems like the type of woman who would push her agenda and break a man down until the man submits to her every whim, you know. Hopefully, that's not the situation. But y'all check out the rest of this video. Bro, if I speak, I am in big trouble. All right, all right, you know, yeah, I can tell you what I think. I think, I, I think D Wade, um, you know, and, and this is without talking about his child. I think D Wade is bi curious, or I think D Wade is just one of them dudes who just he just playing boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. Like, it's, not, it's like Prince was playing boy, and he pulled any, he could pull any nigga bitch ever. Like so y'all like, really think that D pants. Wade is? A, so y'all think that D Wade is a bad bitch on the low? Man, but, but, do you think? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, hold on. All right, all right. Let me fully explain. I think he's either bi curious, and and you might say gay, because I do believe that I think you know he's into some alternative things, or perhaps he's one of them dudes who's like Will Smith. I think his girl calls the shots too much. So when his girl calls the shots and he's trying to appease her, just like how Will is basically like, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm saying the word, but I'm using it to say just a spineless motherfucker. He just goes with whatever Jada says. If, if, yo, if, 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 if his wife says, I know we have a son, but I wish we had a daughter. Okay, let's, let's turn our son into a daughter. Let's do it. But y'all could have just made it. No, yeah. it, I just think that's the type of dude he is. You feel me? Oh, they literally have a daughter. Really? I'm pretty sure they have a daughter, right? Chat? They have a daughter. I mean, but that's it's probably not Gabriel Union. The the child probably wanted to bro, come. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Gabriel Union runs that nigga, bro. I'ma be honest with you. That, oh, wait, wait, wait. Act, act, act. Hold up, hold up. That nigga seen Mike Law that nigga seen Mike Lowry piping around in like Bad Boys 2. Act. I, I got I got to clear this before Twitch clip this shit. Well, technically, the Whoa. child makes the decision, not the family. That's disrespectful to the child because that's what they identify as. All right. I'm, I, I, I never Gabriel, hint. No, it's not up to Gabriel the way way. It's up to the child. I never right? hinted at who makes the decision. I ain't get to that point yet. Okay, I'm just saying. Right. right now, we try to politic over is D Wade. Is D Way D Way still bouncing balls on the court right now or not? No, even though he retired, <laughs> bro. Yo, no, holy, no way, no way, no way, bro. I ain't gonna lie, no I kind of agree with Boosie a little bit. I do think maybe like she uses a dildo on him. I'm gonna keep it a beat. So, so, so Boosie say, "LOL, the whole world know I know I love women, and the whole world know your husband love dick." I hope you don't think blacks look at y'all like a power couple. They don't. I had refused to talk about y'all in interviews, but here you go. Go bang him with that dildo and wait on a script, you little white girl. No. No. That's Photoshop, baby. Bruh, we got to be honest. Now I we know. got, yo, we got to be honest. We all thought that, like, you know what I mean? Like, if you heard today, yeah, you know Gabriel be ass with a with a dildo. You wouldn't even be like, what? You would be like, oh, okay, it makes sense. That's all you would say. Be honest, man. What young dude say, y'all? I can't even think about that. <laughs> yeah, yo, let's be honest, bro. If I've I've always just said, yo, salute to Wade. He's being unproblematic. It's his kid. I ain't gonna trip over it, bro. He's on some whatever. Let him rock. I don't believe that D Wade is completely straight though. Hey, bro, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with it. Yeah, man. 
That's his truth, bro. But if it was, I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. I think D Wade is what they call a power bottom. Oh no! Why, 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 hey why, yo, <laughs> <For real? laughs> I don't even know what that is. I, nah, I ain't gonna. I, me either. It just sounded good. <laughs> nah, I can do what that is. <laughs> nah, I don't. No, no, listen, well, I'm gonna make up the definition now. He a hey, power, yo, yo, he a power bottom. Like nigga, he might dunk on you, but then he's still getting. Yo, his girl is pegging him and fucking him with a dildo. Strap on oh, shit. No. And whole time they thought Chris Boss was the one. Yeah, that oh, is crazy, it? right? Bro. What is going on? Let me go on Chris Boss page. What that nigga doing? I think he got a wife and shit. Ever I since mean, ever boy. since we saw that video with with the champagne poured in his mouth. <laughs> that shit Yo, was. Wait, he hey, who, who, who poured the champagne, bro? Was it D-Wade? Hold on. We got Dona. Look at this. Chris Bosch champagne, nigga. This shit was egregious. Nigga, he poured it himself. Yo, I never yo, seen him. Yo, Chris Bosch gave himself a golden shower, bro. We never seen some <laughs> shit like this. Look. Look. Wow, look at this right here. This raptor looking nigga is Gay. Oh shit! No, 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 no. Hey, oh, that's the video. That's the video. That's the video. That's that's nobody here. That's the video. Hold on. Yo, yo, come, yo. No, the, the nigga opened this. Oh man. Oh hell no. I ain't gonna lie, man. Yo, to keep it real, cause I'm tapped in Toronto. I'm gonna just let y'all know he ain't learning some Raptors. No fucking oh, way. Some nigga said champagne poppy. No. no. <laughs> Yo, Drake is looking down on this nigga, man. Some nigga said champagne poppy. Bro, he did not learn this shit from being on the Toronto Raptors, bro. Why? Oh. Why is his mouth open like that though? <laughs> why that bitch in slow motion though? Why you moaning? <laughs> nigga, <laughs> it's, it's, that's the video. It's not me. Oh, that nigga moaning, bro. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Nigga Fanta Sausage. <laughs> <laughs> look at the way behind him, boy. That nigga the way looking. He looking at Chris Bosch. Hold up now. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, he's fucking. D Wade <laughs> sus moments. Let me see. Does he? If he got a compilation, nigga. <laughs> nigga said Chris Bottom. 